Now, I'm going to showcase information technology, one of our majors, which is interactive media and games development. As you can see, our facilities here. And one of the unique things about our faculty is among the group of eight universities, we are the only one that has a standalone faculty of IT, which means we have quite a lot of resources and our academics are very embedded in the area of their expertise. Students in this major will all have to find, uh, do a final project, which is a game that works. So we are actually showing you the games that are developed by students at the end of the day, and it's perfect for students who want to uh, venture into a career like this because this will be their digital portfolio to take away. I need to show you one of the cool rooms that we've got here, which is certainly um, this lab here. So this is the mixed reality lab that we use for pretty much all of our games and immersive media um, units. Um, but the idea here is that across the different units that we teach, so uh, games, obviously we do a lot of programming um, for that. In terms of 3D modelling, uh, we use this room for some of that, particularly when we're dealing with motion capture. So one of the examples, if you actually have a look um, in each of the quadrants, you can actually notice that we've got optical uh, motion capture sensors built in. As you may also notice, around the corners we have these green curtains, which do actually come out the full way, meaning that you can actually split the room up into four separate quadrants. And in addition to that, obviously, they're green for a reason. Uh, very, very good for working as a green screen. It is the games and interactive media students that work together. And as Claudine mentioned, uh, programming is one, obviously, but the artwork, 3D modeling, animations, all the audio design is also done by the students. 